Yeah, I don't really know what to talk about <laughs> when these loading screens happen. I really don't. But now that we're back in the fold, the commentary can return in full blast. Uh, you know, try to remember where that bar is at. Where's that bar? It's over here. According to this sign. Here we go. Perfect. Where is the lady? There she is. Hello, ma'am. Town's been humming with power. Somebody must have been down in the old plant. It was me. It was me. Coming right up. All right. So I would like to sell you, the bartender, a shock stick. How much is this worth? Only six? Damn, that kind of sucks. At least I have a 32% discount when I'm here. Why does this thing sell for, like, only six bits? It is a melee weapon, so I, I don't really want to use it. I am just going to sell that. I'll sell that, and I will sell that. Um, How about... Yeah, I'll go ahead and sell that, too. No reason to hold on to that. I don't really know if I want to sell consumables. I guess I could sell some of these more useless ones like this. Uh, and that. Uh, Stimulotion. I don't really think I'm ever going to use that either. Come to think of it, there's like a whole lot of consumables I don't really plan on using. Energizing ointment. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that too. Uh, amphetamines in convenient pill form. Kind of like, uh, space Adderall, I see. I, uh, b -b -b yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. And that. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. Because that, uh, apparently immunizes harmful status effects. Definitely gonna want to keep that. And that. What about this? Uh, this is, uh, space chew. Like, uh, like tobacco chew. Go ahead and sell that too. Dervish mist, sell. Uh, plain and pure water. Uh, how is this a sugary drink? Ingredients: 99% water, but that 1% sugar is just really concentrated. Apparently, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sell you. It's only worth two bits, but whatever. Uh, I'll sell the Nicopad. Uh. That's for health, that's for health. There's also health. That is for mind attributes. I'm going to keep that, just in case I uh, I end up needing to hack a terminal or something. And it looks like I'm just going to keep the rest of these. Yeah, the rest of these are good. Except for maybe the alcohol. I might, uh, I might sell this too. Yeah, I'll sell the Zero G Brew. Uh, and that. And that's it for now. Perfect. Nothing to repair. I don't think there's anything else to sell. Um, nope. Alright, cool. Thanks for the business. How many bits do I have? Oh, 2,400. 2,416. Could be better, could be worse, I, I suppose. Alright, let's go to the cannery. Wonder if the plague's ever going to pass. I don't know why I don't have a quest marker right now. That's a little weird. Do I not have a quest selected? Uh, convince the deserters to return. Oh! Maybe I should go talk to the deserters first. Yeah? Alright. Where are they at again? The botanical lab or whatever? Yeah. Fast travel away! Don't you guys love faux windows? Oh, I'm sorry. Fox windows? <sighs> Man, maybe I should just start reading aloud the uh, the little loading screen tips. Raising your block skill unlocks perfect block. With pinpoint timing, your block can stagger the enemy attacking you. Considering this is not a melee build, it's not really super relevant at this time. Oh yeah, this place... Uh, this place does not have any... Yeah, this place <laughs> looks a lot more depressing. Since I cut their power, that's for sure. Remember how this was all lit up and pretty? Oh gosh, it's so pretty. I mean, it was pretty, Parvati, but we kind of fucked it up. I fucked it up, but you know, 
You facilitated oh, it. That's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Who's Thomas? Is he standing over here? Oh, hello, Thomas. You want to stop and talk to Thomas, Parvati? We can do that. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. I don't think Whoa. they're staring at you because the power's Parvati. dead. I think they're staring at you because you look like a lizard vampire, man. Hi. Hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this fella here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Uh, I'm just trying to get my ship off the ground. I've heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. The fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Um, alright, that's kind of shitty. <laughs> Never too late to start learning. Give you a couple pointers. Uh, I mean... Giving the intellect of my character, I don't really know how well this is going to bode. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those... Wait, isn't that the book that we picked up earlier? The ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I'm pretty sure I picked up one of them. Yeah, I'd look, I mean, I've got one of those. Yeah, here you go. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? The one in the basement of that one place? Yeah, there you go. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. This guy has the most, like, excited... Disneyland little boy voice I've ever heard. Really? That's just incredible. Oh, my reputation with the deserters increased. I may have shut their power off, but at least I'm giving this guy books. I'm not even giving him books for free. I'm charging him for the books. <laughs> All right. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. All right, buddy. Cool. That's all we've got time for with that guy. Let's go talk to Adelaide. Wow, yeah, this place is dead. I fucked them up. This old lady, oh, hey. She kind of scared me. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. She looks like Jean Shallot. You for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. What is up with this lady and like roasting things on spits? What does that even mean? my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Well, uh, Reed needs his people back. This isn't personal. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just like pressing buttons, I guess. I think I might go with that one, to be completely honest. <laughs> just, it's like making me giggle already. Here we go. Are you really this moronical or are you just putting on air? <laughs> Listen here, whole head. I'm only <laughs> gonna say this once. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over. And the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Yikes. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm willing to deal with Reed. What is this? Does this, does this like insinuate that I'm going to kill him? Is that what this is? That what this is? You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? I don't know what I'm after. <laughs> Talk him into leaving if you can. 
He and I are not. Oh, I can talk him into leaving, apparently. Alright. Uh, Reed isn't just going to leave his post. I'll need some help convincing him. I might. Uh, what happened to you, Adelaide? All this anger had to come from somewhere. I kind of, I mean, yeah. Why is she so pissed off? When the plague started coming, he was one of the first... Oh, okay, so apparently her son died. Medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Sounds like that's the whole story, not, you know... Uh, Reed isn't going to sleep. Yeah, what do I what do I do to convince him? I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil blue. Hell yeah. I mean, so sounds sounds pretty damn good if we can get this whole thing to work. I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. Ooh, I've yummy. Been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Uh-huh. You think that'll convince Reed to step down? What happens when you run out of corpses? Uh, the, the answer to that is simple. You just kill more people. Stupid. I have got a means to cure the plague. And I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. Alright. So, I guess we can go... Try and convince Reed to fuck off out of Edgewater so that Adelaide can take over. That honestly doesn't sound like a bad plan, to be completely honest. Uh, hello guy I just talked to. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Nope, but I got some great news for ya. Yes. <laughs> Hey, you're about to... Well, I mean, he already knows that the power's out. This isn't really news I've to him. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. Uh, so don't work at the cannery. You wanted to be an engineer. Uh, Edgewater's struggling. They need all the workers they can get. Uh, I'm just gonna give him this I'm one. So a little more I incentivizing. The town could use another engineer. Even though he totally just confessed earlier that he was a sucky engineer. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater and... I'm as good as dead to her. Uh, why is that? Stay put. I'm going to try. Okay, cool. I can, like, let this guy in on the plan. I don't know where to find me. Doesn't really seem like he gives much of a shit, but cool. Uh, who else do I need to talk to? I think this is the chick that we met coming into town. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. Uh-huh. So, nothing left for you here. Time to go back to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on me. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that question haunting me all the way back to the cannery. So I guess she wants us to do the whole Zoe thing before she figures out what she's going to do. Alright, so we've got our work cut out for us, it would seem. Uh, what do I want to do next is the real question here. Search Zoe's house for clues. Um, right, yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll just start trying to help out these people and hopefully rally them towards Edgewater by doing their side quest arenos. Now we gotta find Zoe's house so that we can figure out where the fuck she went. Where in Carmen San Diego is this house? Is it this one? Yes, sir, e Bob. All right, can I sleep? I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. I'm gonna sleep for eight hours. I don't really know what sleeping does for you in this game. Resting in a bed is relaxing and moves time forward. In Supernova, you can only rest in your bed on your ship. All right. So it says sleep is relaxing, but like, what does that mean? <laughs> like in the context of gameplay, 
Like, what does that do for me? All right. What is this? Uh, so that's it then. No more Edgewater for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'am. And would you like another? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not going to read that. You guys can go ahead and read that. I'll jump around here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much Adrena time. Is that really a crime? I got to treat myself and I'm sick, don't I? All right, so apparently she started tripping balls on Adrena time. Hopefully, is that the only clue in here? There's got to be another clue. It's like so dark in here. I can't, I can't figure any of this shit out. Oh, here we go. Uh, well, today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day, blah, 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 blah. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food. And I've got some spare cans of salt tuna. Yummy, delicious. This is going to be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizos. What the fuck is Rizos? It's got to be some in-game brand for something. Uh... All right, well, I guess now we know where Zoe went. She is about 300 meters in that direction. Let's see if I can fast travel closer. Not really, no. I would say we are on foot for this one. Although, this doesn't really seem like an overly long distance. There aren't really any overly long distances in this game. Just because the map is scaled down a little bit. That is definitely a Marauder. Hello. Not a peep for me. I have a grenade launcher now, don't I? Yeah, let's like try this out. That is definitely not the grenade launcher. Here we go. And give it a good old fashioned reload. Do not want to go into the fight without a full mag. Hey buddy! Alright, well that kind of missed. Man, my accuracy just, uh, just blows ass at the end of the day. But also, it seems like the grenades shoot a little higher than where you're aiming the reticle. Which is weird to me. Also, I'm getting attacked by like a rabid alien animal. And not even noticing that I'm taking damage. Do -do. Take another hit of my super inhaler, Mega. I'm gonna shock the crap out of you. Uh, yeah, take that. Whoa, slow motion shock time. Dark side. All right, that's what I call getting zapped. It's like some Ghostbusters shit. All right, Parvati, let's loot these people and be on our way. And of course, reload all of the guns. I got a new assault rifle. Wow, I do not have a whole lot of ammo. I wonder if it's because of the uh, grenade launcher. I have a ton of light ammo. Let me see uh, what my options are here. Uh, really none. I've got the shock cannon and the pistol. Those are really the only weapons I have ammo for. Oh well, we will make the best of it. In true, in true uh, survival. Oh god, I just like stepped on a landmine. Oh, so did that guy. All right, well, it was an even trade. I stepped on one and took a little bit of damage, but then an enemy stepped on one and died. So it was perfect. I kind of like this gun. I'm not gonna lie. It seems like the kind of weapon that really kind of loses its effect towards the end of the game. But for now, I mean, it's it's not bad. I'm having fun just sort of uh aiming in their general direction and zapping the shit out of them. Alright, well there's this guy here. I'm about to die if I don't play my cards right. Quick, take the inhaler! Take it again for good measure. Alright, hear me. Here I go again with my slow-mo. Alright, I'm trying to zap. There we go. And switch weapons. Let's, wait, that's not what I meant to do. How do I? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, let's just pull the pistol out. Fuck off. Fucking see you later. Uh, bit cartridge, ammo, another pistol. Fantastic. I don't really want to line my inventory with too much useless crap. At least not yet. Do do. What do we got in here? More mechanicals and stuff. 
Man, I swear, energy ammo has got to be, like, the most common thing ever in this game. It's just so common. It isn't really a complaint. But, I don't know. Dude, where am I supposed to go? Okay, right here. Oh, hello there! Who are you? Wow. You crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Alright, well we found Zoe. I don't know why, but I was like really convinced she was going to be dead. Uh, you're Zoe, your people are looking for you. Well, I'm pretty confused. Yeah, let's, let's just stick with dumb. Hey, me too. But mostly because I just had my second dose of Adrena time. I am so completely addled right now. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Uh huh. I need you to clarify something. I've been sent to find you. Why? Let's get straight Adeline to the wants point. Me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Wow, you're like a deserter of the deserters. You're like a super deserter. You're a double deserter. Damn. Uh, bu -bu -bu. I'm just gonna use persuasion. And no serial Kind dramas. of the the obvious choice I've been there. Thinking about going back, I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Uh, all right. So I guess she'll head on back. That was an easy quest. Easy enough, if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and fast travel back, because I'm too lazy to want to run all the way back there. Terror on Monarch, with Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon Helen.